Small but perfect, that's me. Let's... <laughs> Tiny and perfectly formed. That's, that's what I was looking that's for. What that's are. what I was looking for. The biggest international food exhibition in Britain is being held in London this week. And the biggest attraction at that show is a stand that's entirely devoted to British products. Our own British product is Michael Berry with this week's Crafty Cooking. Michael. Good morning. The thing that's the biggest attraction on the biggest British stand is actually turkey. Now, usually when you think of turkey, you think of this. Nice, big, plump, Christmas time, sometimes maybe a little bit of Easter time. Fundamentally, it's a big joint cooked at special times, but what's happening now is that someone worked out that this turkey, it's not a huge one, weighs about the same as half a lamb, and no one would walk into the butchers and say, yeah, I'll have half a lamb, please. So they worked out that you cut lambs up, you can cut turkeys up too. And what you get these days, and will be getting in the butchers and in the supermarkets in the very near future, are things like this. There's a turkey, uh, a turkey joint, boned out, rolled. That funny-looking string stuff is actually perfectly OK. It's a kind of giant uh, fishnet stocking they put on it to keep it in shape. It comes off before you eat it. Drumsticks put down for casseroles. Escalops, which are sort of turkey steaks, if you like. Very thin, very quickly cooked. I'll be showing you those in just a moment. You can buy them in supermarkets now with breadcrumbs already on them to make them like veal schnitzels. And even these two, uh, these two pieces of meat are not what they look at all. That isn't ham and that isn't roast pork. That's turkey leg meat, the drumsticks, compressed, salted, uh, smoked a little. That's the breast and you slice them, they're cooked ready, you slice them down for sandwiches or anything else you want to like that. And if you think you're not going to get a lot of that, believe me you are, because if there's one thing the International Food uh, and Drink Exhibition does tell you, it tells you what's going to be in the supermarkets for the next two years, because unfortunately the public aren't allowed into it. And of the 2,000 or so stands and exhibits, it's all designed for supermarket buyers. This is what's going to be happening in your supermarket next year. So, when it does, what you do is you get yourself a frying pan, a hungry family sitting at the table ready to go, and you put the escalops, each of which weighs about six ounces, into some hot oil so they sizzle. What you also need is some double cream and another product which appeared virtually for the first time at this exhibition, and another British product too, which is herb mustard. This is mustard with tarragon and thyme in it, absolutely perfect for cooking with the turkey. I did say it was a quick dish. 30 seconds and a little sizzling. And if I can, you turn the steaks over, and as you can see, they've gone beautifully white with a little hint of gold on the top of them. Another 35 seconds or so is all they're going to need before we make the sauce. One of the secrets of cooking turkey or anything else like this, by the way, is not to season it. No salt and pepper until it's sealed. If it's sealed, the salt doesn't pull out the juices. If you salt it before you cook it, you get all the juice pulled out. And this is such a thin piece of meat, you wind up with quite a dry texture and taste. But like this, we're ready for the next stage. Double cream, I'm afraid, but then this is an extremely delicious and luxurious meal. The double cream, one small carton, in on top of the turkey. It'll melt a little bit, do not let this panic you. It's meant to go a bit runny, but in case uh, you're worried about the flavour, a small teaspoonful of herb mustard and a quick stir. Now at this point, the, th the sauce will thicken, <coughs> rather like my voice, I'm sorry, the sauce will thicken and the sizzling will stop and the turkey is almost ready to eat. It's one of the quickest and easiest dishes I know. You have to make sure the mustard's mixed in thoroughly, otherwise you wind up with a glob of mustard and not enough cream on all the bits of sauces. One of the things about this whole turkey development also is it needs about a, a, a slight simmer while the, while the uh, flavours blend. One of the things about turkey is that it's actually going to be the cheapest meat you can buy. It won't be pound for pound always, but if you do buy turkey roll or any of the other boned out pieces of turkey, you'll find that effectively it's the cheapest roast or fry you can buy. Now then, the turkey escalopes, which shouldn't be cooked for any longer than that, or they will dry out something hideous, 
come out there and now there is a trick here there are two ways of serving this the traditional way is to pour the sauce over the escalope but what's called nouvelle cuisine or up in yorkshire where uh, <laughs> where michael might be it, it's the new cooking the new cooking right she you, understands co you put the do. sauce he does you put the sauce around it i personally like it over the top because i think that it looks more scrumptious that way but they do serve in france in places now the sauce like that, and you, they run it so that it rolls into the turkey, or whatever it is they're serving, and it smooths out around the dish, but I think it looks grotty. Mm. It looks like a sole for my shoe. <laughs> Show us no. your shoes. I'm no, not, I'm not Show us your shoes. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's got a hole in, in the bottom. <laughs> I met a little round gentleman in the street yesterday who said to me, I must not be rude to you. Really? Yes. He said you're a simple soul and it wasn't fair. That's true. I can't answer that. I can personally attest to this man's cooking because I've been to dinner at his gaff and he's a marvellous, marvellous cook. Try a touch of soul. Do you, you do this every Friday, do you, Michael? Um, no, I do different every dishes every Friday. Yeah, well, I mean, you're doing some cooking for us <laughs> yes, every indeed. Friday. Would you like to taste yes, it? Yes, please. Like... I'm going to enjoy doing this program. Please do. Yes, it's got soup all over the oh, thing. Would you like a clean fork? fork? I can yeah. manage a clean fork. Manage a clean fork. Oh, clean fork. I'm very Too good for my shoe. Thank you. Too good for your shoe. Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful. <laughs> mm. <laughs> nice and tender and, and very, it is. very quick. You're absolutely mm. right. Too. Mm. Super. So mm. what, what other sort yeah. of you know, permutations on this sauce could you have? Well, you can use orange juice mm. with the sauce if you prefer it. Really? You don't have to use mustard. Uh, a couple of spoonfuls of orange juice make a slightly citrusy sauce. And sometimes, if you don't like the taste of mustard at all or anything else, you just use cream and a tiny squeeze of lemon, and that's that. Mm. It's delicious. That's excellent. Mm. Sure. Go on, don't speak with a mouthful. <laughs> You'll link to the break. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, do the news. I have not got my mouthful anymore at all. We're going to take a very quick break so I can eat this lovely piece of turkey. Join us in just a second, will you? We'll be right back. <laughs>